Andrew, I like the behavioral construct of the PIMCO report. I'm going to go back to a TV show long ago and far away on the police of, I believe it was Brooklyn. Be careful out there. And you make it very clear within the certitudes of 2021, we need to be careful. What does that mean? Yes, no, I like your Hill Street Blues reference, if that's right. So um, markets have priced in a lot of good news, and this is the way markets uh, work. Uh, it, you know, it may look very difficult out there now in terms of um, uh, uh, COVID across the world, but the market looks forward um, to vaccination and the recovery. And we, we forecast a strong uh, recovery from the second quarter onwards, you know, the strongest growth in, in a decade this year. Uh, but the markets have priced this in. If you look at um, uh, particularly kind of equity markets, risk asset um, behavior. Um, so as we say, you know, we have a pretty optimistic view on the outlook looking you know, through this difficult first quarter. Uh, but uh, be careful uh, because there's a lot of risk and a lot of good news priced <clears throat> in. The acclaimed concept of the new normal it ages gracefully. People still talk about it all the time, Andrew, always citing uh, PIMCO. Forget about it. What's the new normal at PIMCO? Huh. So um, I think that, um, that, you know, that construct um, has, has served us well. And if you just look at the level of um, uh, interest rates and central banks anchoring the, the front ends of curves, then, then that has um, uh, served us um, well. Uh, looking forward, I think that as you look beyond this year, you start to see um, uh, you know, real uncertainty in terms of the outlook. And there's always um, uncertainty in the outlook, but um, plausible cases for, for higher inflation, but plausible cases for deflation, uh, plausible cases for ongoing fiscal activism. We're talking about um, 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 the, the, the Biden economic plan today, uh, but also the potential for, for fiscal retrenchment. So I think no, yes, we may have another year or so, another couple of years of the new normal um, to go. But as we look beyond that, uh, I think as um, uh, investment managers, we're going to be in a uh, in a world with you know what jargony kind of fatter tail risks, positive and and negative. But what's your take, Andrew? What's your your feeling right now? Are we going towards you know is is this reflationary trade? Does it have legs? So I think the reflationary trade um, has legs in the in the near term, um, uh, because I do think that um, you know as dark as before the dawn, uh, there is um, um, a lot of good news in terms of the the um, um, progression on on vaccines, and then uh, there should be um, a lot of um, um, pent up um, demand, so you can get to to very strong uh, growth um, outlooks. Central banks have told us that they're going to remain very supportive, and we expect that. It could be interesting when um, when this gets challenged. You know, the um, the reflation runs into um, greater uncertainty on central banks later, but that's not going to be, uh, I don't think, a story for this year. Probably, certainly not the the six months um, to come. So yes, I, I think that um, there is further room to 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 run. Uh, but that said, um, if you take uh, treasuries, um, you are anchored by a Federal Reserve which is going to uh, not raise, uh, sorry, to, it could continue quantitative easing, tapering, you know, possibly at the end of this year, but much more likely next year, uh, years to come before we have uh, rate increases. Janet Yellen um, at the Treasury, uh, somebody who's going to be working very closely, very supportive of the Fed. So in effect, you have you know, yield curve control, uh, not formal, but uh, informal. And I think that should be uh, anchoring for fixed income yields. So um, if, if treasuries go up too much further, uh, then they will start to look attractive, um, even at relatively um, low yields compared with history. So uh, Andrew, where are you expecting you know, the 10 year yield to year end? Uh, I think, you know, I think um, uh, around these levels um, to, 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 you know, let's say one to one and a half percent would be uh, reasonable, um, uh, I think, as, a, as an expectation. As we get confirmation um, of the, um, the, the, the sort of outlook that we're forecasting in our, in our PIMCO outlook, but you do have that push and pull uh, lockdowns versus um, vaccines. I'm no you know, medical um, expert, 
uh, I think you know it it's makes sense for, for fixed income markets, for markets more generally, <clears throat> to look to the other side of the valley to, to price in the mm -hmm. recovery. But once you've priced in all the good news, you're just left with um, a set of downside risks, disappointment on uh, fiscal uh, as one right. uh, example, scarring in the economy as, uh, as another.